Major Tom here. And I'm Warbrain. Johnny Boy can't be with us today, but we'll do fine without him. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to talk about and review our, uh, the newest Ace Combat game, Assault Horizon. Right, it has a lot of controversy going on between its like original hardcore fans because they changed a lot in the game. So the story starts off, there's a bunch of attacks going on in Eastern Africa. They basically call out for help from NATO. You know, then they send you know the troops. They find out what's going on, and then they find out they have nuclear weapons, which basically are warheads on these, like they call it the Trinity, and it's like a warhead on a cruise missile, which yeah. they can launch from any plane or anything. Yeah. And it's devastating. Let me tell you, when you see like a couple of the explosions, some brutal stuff you see yeah. when that thing goes off. And so you know, and then you find out that of course there's Russians mercenaries also working with the you know. <laughs> well, yeah. The Russians are always involved with some nuclear, you know, weaponry. <laughs> and you take, you know, the role of this guy named William Bishop, and he's in charge of, like, the air fleet that, you know, trying to stop them from blowing up everything. They had to find a way to work Russians and nukes into a flying cave. Yeah. <laughs> so <they're> like, <laughs> Not very <"Why> hard. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we just put the nukes on a missile on a plane instead of, like, I don't know. Launching from a silo or something. Yeah. So they're mobile, so you could have random fights all around the world. Yeah. <laughs> and basically you do it. Now your gameplay, I can't really consider it. It's just an airplane game. What else can you say about the gameplay of an airplane game? Well, I mean, how how simulation is it? Like, is it like where did they go and change things that got people mad? That's well, I think where people are cu curious. Mission wise, the game was always focused only on airplanes, and and this time around they added some helicopter missions and they added some bomber missions where you're in that giant plane just like attacking ground troops, you know? Yeah. And they made it more like action-y and, you know, try to make it more exciting for, you know, newer people to come into the series and enjoy it and also try to make, you know, the hardcore fans happy, you yeah. know, with the game too. But they're kind of mad because they just want airplane stuff. That's it. You know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's hard to please both sides. Yeah. Man. Yeah. And, you know, your controlling wise, I, you can like have full on control of your airplane, you know, use the thumbsticks to twirl and, you know, move your airplane however you want. Then you have like more... You know, controls for someone that's new that'll have a lot of assistance where you're, it's very simpler, you know, yeah. gameplay for them to be able to play. So is it like, for the uh, for the simpler version, is it like you press a button to do a barrel roll or yeah, something like yeah. that? Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and the other way is like you're using the thumbsticks to actually do it all manually and stuff. Yeah. You know, you just have to like hit like LB or RB to do something. And, you know, a lot of times you can have the, it'll come up on screen and tell you when to do it so yeah. you're not getting blown up all the time. Okay, so, so when you were using the helicopter, when I was watching you for, do that uh, achievement video, that was the simple, simple ones, controls? Yeah. I played, I started off playing so I could test both of them, you know. I yeah. played like half the game, you know, with it, and then the other half I tried it just to see what the difference was, you know. Yeah. And well, because I was kind of worried, like, I mean, doing, you were able to do a barrel roll in a helicopter, which was like, which kind of bothered me, like, because you were able to do it so simply, like it was nothing. Yeah. But... How does that work with uh, the regular controls? Does well, I didn't try with the helicopter, but with the plane, it was much more complicated. Yeah. <laughs> Instead of just hitting a button, you yeah. know what I mean? And, you know, they added a lot of more animations, like when you're fighting. Like, say I'm shooting down another plane with a machine gun, you'll start seeing pieces of the plane, like, break off and stuff. Yeah. And then, I don't know, you, you might like this or not a lot of times, you know, you'll shoot some missiles and it'll go to, like, a slow-mo. Like, and then the plane blows up, and they make it look all awesome and stuff. Yeah. But it's kind of too frequently, I thought. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, And it kind of slowed down your gameplay. You're like, I just want to go kill the next guy, and I don't want to yeah, watch it, this cutscene. Exactly. <laughs> that's that's something that kind of bothers me. I think that also is, like, one of the things that, you know, are bothering people, you yeah. know? Where, like, especially when you're in a dogfight or something in the air, fighting against all these enemies, you don't want to stop and watch this guy blow up. You're like... I'll just keep flying, go you know, go on to the next guy. Yeah, I also noticed uh, a couple of things that bothered me. I would say I was like locked onto a guy, and I was like chasing him for a while. Then all of a sudden, there'd be like a cutscene of this guy telling me something, and then it'd go back, and I wasn't locked on the guy anymore. And he'd like be somewhere else, and I had to go like chase him down again. Yeah. I'm like, ah. <laughs> so there's like some small annoyances, yeah. I guess, you know. But I mean, they're they're trying to bring in a lot of people, which I respect because there's not too many airplane games, so they need yeah. money obviously to keep the franchise alive. Which, yeah, you know, I won, obviously. Yeah. And I don't know how many people really go out and buy jet fighting games or no, because you know, it's really games. not that many, anyways. You know yeah. what I mean? So graphic wise, 
from the last Ace Combat to this Ace Combat, definitely a huge improvement. The cutscenes look really good, you know, the animations and everything. When you get to, like, cities and stuff, all the buildings look cool. But, like, the ground textures it just looked kind of, like, very fake and kind of, you know, yeah. not too much detail to them. Like, the buildings and everything were cool when you're flying through them and stuff. But, like, just, like, the boring ground or whatever, where you see, like, little squares, you know. Yeah. Even when you, I go, like, fly, like, right, you know, it doesn't change too much, even when you're flying closer, you know. That kind of bothered me. But the cities were pretty cool flying yeah. through them. Well, I mean, at least it is a flying game, so it's not that important. No. You know, that's... You're not on the ground ever. So. But it's definitely a step up, you know, graphical-wise. Yeah. Uh, replay value, you got various different, you know, multiplayer modes. You got your deathmatch. There's, like, one mode where you're on two different teams and you're defending the city and, you know, you're trying to get the most points and whoever gets the most points wins. That's pretty cool. And you could play uh, co-op story. What's weird is only some of the missions are allowed in the co-op. They took because some missions just wouldn't work from the single player to the co-op, so they just cut them out completely. Because, <laughs> like, uh, for instance, one of the bomber missions, you're just on this big plane by yourself, and I don't know how that would work co-op. You yeah, know what I mean? So they just cut it out. They just cut it out. Yeah. No, uh, do they just like cut out that whole section of the story, or do and they, they don't even tell you like the story? It's just like you go to that mission, you're on that level, and you start fighting <laughs> with some friends, basically. Yeah, that's kind of lame then. You know. I like, mean, they kept in some of it, but like, there's no cutscenes or nothing like that. So you hear like the same. Like the guys talking to you, how it yeah. was in the single player, but like all yeah. it's, so you might not know what the hell's going on if you just jump into. Yeah, and but on I mean, the that's kind of disappointing though, because a lot of people will jump into a game and play co-op. Yeah, but a lot of the missions aren't unlocked, because I noticed when I was playing the single player, it was unlocking more co-op missions for me to play. So I think you had to go through yeah. some of that to unlock the missions. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then uh, you know you level up your multiplayer, you unlock you know new planes and new like little upgrades for your planes. You know, so that's pretty cool. So if you want to put a lot of time in this game, there's obviously you can play multiplayer for a long time, and you know to unlock everything will take you quite a bit of a long time. Uh, achievements. Achievements. <laughs> now I've beaten the game. I beat the game on co-op already, and I probably have 75% of the achievements because they're mainly all story related. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing really. I mean, there was a couple. You know, in unique ones where it's like you had to beat a level. In yeah, or I had to like find a certain building to fly under. And there's some multiplayer ones. But, yeah. you know, I would say you could probably, you know, within a week or so of playing the game, you could have like everything. You know what I yeah. mean? No problem. Nothing very difficult. No. I mean, reading the achievements, you like weren't sure if like they were going to be story related or not. Because they would just say like a little phrase. So you didn't know if you were going to have to find that stuff, which would have been cooler in those missions. But they're yeah. all just related to what was going to happen. At a certain part in the yeah, campaign okay. mission. Uh, so then we'll wrap it up, I think. Well, what's uh, what's the verdict then? Is verdict. <laughs> if you're into playing games, I say it's worth sixty bucks. If you're not into playing games, you're just looking to try it out. I think you should go rent it first. See if you like the controls and you know the theme of the game. Then you know go buy it. But if you're not into airplane games at all, this game's not going to be fun for you. It's going to be boring. Well, I mean, it's a plane game. Yeah. So <laughs> it's like, if you don't like shooting people, don't buy Call of Duty. Yeah. So it's like, all right. Well, I guess that's it then. Now we're wrapping it up. <laughs> oh, we're still going to end up uh, reviewing Dead Rising eventually. <laughs> yeah. And the new Batman game, which is the new rave. <laughs> Everybody loves Batman. Yeah. on target.